Ooh, a Superman trailer. Man, let's see here. What do we have? Oh, wow. That's a lot of CGI there. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. I just like saying the name Crowe. Crowe. If I ever get to work with Crowe, I'll just be like, hey there, Russell Crowe. I don't know how Crowe sounds like. Well, that looks good. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Uh, so that's the new guy. Even if it takes the rest of your life. Hmm. I think it works. To yourself to find out what that reason is. Kevin Costner. How do you find someone who And I haven't seen him since uh, his tracks. Robin Hood or the Bodyguard. Son, he was a guardian angel. That's cool. All right. Oh. For others, oh, 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 uh, he never quite fit in. Uh, uh hello? Hello? Uh, yeah, uh, Adam. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, I'm just, uh, nothing. No, not doing anything. All right, yeah. Sure, come on by. You're in town for AMTC. Oh, man, that is awesome. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really doing much. No, no. You can be here in five minutes. Perfect. Let me just, uh, let me just finish up what I'm doing here, and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, bye. Well, looks like I've got to get a show started. It's time to have some fun. Oh, light talk. Sammy Mud. We got skits and interviews. We got everything but the blues. It's on. Light Talk is on. Light Talk with Sam Beeman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I'm your host, Sam Beeman, and we've got somebody special coming by the studio. Well, actually, he's already here. I'm not even going to play. Uh, Adam Shee is all the way from the Atlanta, Georgia area. Please welcome Adam Shee. Come on in, Adam. Hey. Sam. Man. Hey, good to see you. to see you again. Yeah, so uh, you're in town. I am. Yes. Uh, what are you doing? I'm doing what we do. We look for talent. <laughs> hey, yeah. That's we're, a good thing. We're here to scout, and you're, of course, very familiar with that. Absolutely, yes. yes. Uh, you know, I had a great time competing at AMTC in winter. Of 2007. Seems so long ago. I know it's right hard now. to believe. That was that was right before AMTC went from actors, models, talent competition to actors, models, talent for Christ. Yeah, that's funny. That's really interesting time. <laughs> that was that was right there on the right verge. there on the cuff. You yeah, came in right before it became for Christ. It was really interesting what happened? Timing. Like, was there um, a, Carrie? Was she Carrie? Was in, she was running. Who is our founder? Yeah, and my mother-in-law, equally important. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, she, after running a talent development event, a company, you know, where we were renowned I mean, in the industry for 25 years as the best talent development preparation company, basically teaching people what they need to know about the industry. Ultimately, success in the entertainment industry, you know this. Yes. You know, it's about who you know and what you know. You know, you, you, you've got to have both. And so, after doing that for 25 years, she was burned out. Mm. She was a burned out CEO, and she had a come to Jesus meeting. And so, you know, if you know anything about that, that changes everything. Yeah, what, now was she already a Christian, and it just was one of those She things? was not all, already a Christian. Wow. God took her to a place where she was just really broken, you know, through tough um, business betrayals, through losing her marriage. I mean, and kind of, you know, and, and we, we were kind of all in the same home because obviously her, her daughter is my wife. And I mean, I kind of saw her through this breaking. And, uh, but you know what? Jesus says either, you know, you are broken or and, and you fall on the rock, right? Or you are crushed by it. And uh, I saw her broken, and then, but, but God began to put everything together. And, and it really kind of started with me. And that before, at that point, I didn't know God, you know? And so really? she was an example. She was a witness to me in a lot of regards, just seeing her life change and, and her conviction and, and literally running up one day, you know, after she's working out on the treadmill, say, hey, Adam, I got an idea. We're going to change the name of our company. 
God gave me this vision. We're going to change AMTC, which is, you know, Actors, Models, and Competition, competition which yes. is what you knew it as. And, you know, you came as an actor uh, to Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ. That C needs to be for Christ. And I, I didn't know God at that time. <laughs> so what you was know? your reaction? And ultimately, I was kind of, you know, with a whole lot of help and, and her advice, you know, I was running things at that point for AMTC because of her kind of just really following apart emotionally. Um, I was respectful, mm. you know, I, I, you know, raised in a, you know, Chinese home. I, I respect my elders and, and obviously, and she was, you know, my boss too. And so I respected her not only in, in those regards, but also as, as my dear mother-in-law. I, but I, I, so I said, okay, let's okay. think about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I thought about it and, and, and interesting within it, within a year's time, I kind of, I just, I came to the point where, um, I needed a, a kind of a check in my spirit in my life on, on what my purpose was. And so we actually agreed together we were going to change the name to Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ legally and officially in 2010. And a couple years later, uh, we decided we'd make a, another huge shift, which you're familiar yes. with. And, and what we're still in this amazing transition in is, is changing into a nonprofit ministry. So now we're in completing uh, year number two as a nonprofit ministry. Wow. That, that's crazy. It, now, uh, one of the things you mentioned was coming from a, from a Chinese background um, and finding the Lord. You know, what, what kind of upbringing or religious uh, ties you had? Not much religion in my household. You know, growing up, my mom always said we were Catholic. Okay. <laughs> that's all you knew. I, that's all I knew. We didn't go to church. We didn't pray. We did business. I mean, we we owned my parents owned a restaurant. I grew up in the restaurant. That's all I knew. In fact, I, I didn't do that well in school because it was all about the restaurant stuff. That was like their focus seven days a week. You know, ten twelve hours a day. And uh, interestingly, in the I think in the Asian culture in general, but especially in the Chinese. You know, my mom used to tell me this in Chinese growing up. She'd say. Um, there's no reason to say anything good, okay? Because you're supposed to be doing good. Like, there's no reason to give any compliments, okay? Because you're supposed to listen and you're supposed to do good. So really the only time when it's a necessity to speak mm -hmm. is a criticism, oh. you know? So, like, <laughs> unconditional love and, and <laughs> my family and my culture was a very foreign concept, you know, and so when I had my come to Jesus meeting, that was a tremendous realization and just a um, a breaking of a lot of strongholds in that. And, and I still have tendencies to be kind of critical too, you know, if I, if I had an issue that I really have to battle a lot of times is just being overly critical because of that's how I was raised. Again, like you, there's no reason to say anything, Sam, yeah. unless it's a negative, you know, <laughs> because you're supposed to be doing good, you that, know? Yeah, that, that kind of makes me think of uh, uh, the, the movie, the new movie, The Karate Kid, the newer version that they mm -hmm. did, where uh, it was, I think, Jaden Smith, um, was it? The, Will Sun. Will uh -huh. Sun, yeah. yeah. Who, um, and I'm probably making, like, I, I just destroyed his name. But uh, anyways, Will Sun, who was kind of infatuated with this girl, and like her parents couldn't say anything good about like she was this extraordinary, you know, um, uh, musician, and she worked really hard, and it didn't matter like they weren't gonna like praise her for that, but if she she did wrong, then they said something about it. Um, before we take a break, what you just said about the the criticism and, and good and all that, like how would you say that in Chinese? How would your mom say it to you? Hmm. For those that, that may be watching, so the, the, for those yes, for the, um, Mandarin speaking viewers, yes, yes um, she would say, and of course my Mandarin gets worse every day. I need to practice more. I'm trying to teach my son, who's four, how to speak more Mandarin. She'd say, uh, Okay, all right. That's my best attempt. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, Adam, we're going to go ahead and take a break. We'll be back here in just a moment with more of Adam Shi from AMTC. All right, here we are, Wednesday morning, and I'm with uh, Brittany, <laughs> Dad, Eric, and the rest of them. There's probably about 
probably about several hundred people in this room. We're in, uh, <laughs> actually, probably thousands of people That's in here. That's so thousands. not true. <laughs> There's thousands. There's thousands of people that have been through this room. But, uh, hey, 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 I'm sorry. Did you know that Sam has Destiny's Child on his iPod? That's okay, so, weird. uh... <laughs> and Hillary Duff. And Hillary Duff. That's a little weird. It's for uh, DJing purposes, uh, middle school dances, you know. <laughs> So you're scoping through my uh, journal there, eh? <laughs> journal? I'm like a diary. To the little bits, I'm love with the little bits, I'm love. You can see the blood I'm through by now. I heard you did a great job on your singing, by the way. Oh. I didn't get to see it, but people said it was wonderful. Who said that? Um. Who was telling these lies? Leslie, maybe. Alright. I think I've met up with the Jack Sparrow. Let's get him. Oh, yes. Jack. Is there anything well, it's, you'd like it's to Sam. say? Sam, how are you doing this? Oh. Yeah. That's very lovely. But you know, I must be going, so I'm going to find my boat. I like Sam. He's a very good actor. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's amazing being here all week long, uh, all the wonderful people that you meet, and the bright and shining stars, people that you're going to be seeing on screen pretty soon, I'm sure. Uh, you're either going to be seeing them on screen, uh, <coughs> or you might be seeing them on Broadway. You never know. Okay, we're back with Adam Shee of AMTC. Adam. I brought in a few awards here from uh, from my competition in 2007. Um, now, soap opera. This is uh, goodness. Can I get really this? taking it back to yes. soap opera days? Yes. yes. Okay. This is a winner of the soap opera competition. So you guys don't do this competition anymore. No. Now you you might have gotten the last soap opera winner award. That, that's a uh, that's right. a pretty cool thing. Okay. Yeah, pretty prestigious thing. You, uh, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Uh, TV commercial. Yeah, we still have that. Okay. Uh, yeah, still very, very relevant. Okay. To good. <laughs> today. Yes, very that good. That was a uh, yeah, winner of the TV that's, commercial. That's, that's good, man. And, and yeah. I tell you, the interesting thing about that was that my director had actually given me really good advice. And I think that for anybody watching this that um, that is considering being a part of AMTC, you know, that you uh, want to come to the auditions, and, uh, and Adam and the team will be there scouting out and you're praying about this, you want to be a part of it. Um, you can also trust in the directors, or the, those that are working you know, with you, because I know it's a little bit different than it was uh, years back. There's a whole network Yeah. of yeah, people that are involved that, that really see the vision. They, they do. They want to be a part of this mission. Yeah. Because even with the TV commercial for me, uh, I remember it was, um, um, <laughs> the way I did it originally was like, you don't write it around humming You Are My Sunshine. Take a look at the new Harley Davidson from Night Rod or whatever, something like that. You know, it's like the new Night Rod from Harley Davidson or whatever. Uh, but I, I did it, you know, on point, didn't close my eyes or any of that stuff. And, uh, well, I tell you what, let's take a look at the finished, the finished result of that. We have, uh, we have a clip, so let's go ahead and show it right now. You don't write it around humming You Are My Sunshine. Take a look at the Harley Davidson night rod with temptation dripping from every inch. Then rub your hands together and crack a wicked smile. It's time the world had a hero from the dark side. Okay, so as you can tell, I was using a New York accent with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but all of that was because of my, my director. Mm. Because she looked at me and she said, I don't believe that you're a bad boy. Show me bad boy. And so I was like, okay, you know, you don't write it around. You know, I, I started doing this New York accent. And at the competition, that, that's what took me all the way to the top, was her advice. You so, stood out. Yeah, exactly. You, you got to find out little ways to stand out. And stand out in a good way. Yes, exactly. Because sometimes people stand out in a not-so-good way. That's not a good way to stand out. But you, know, you were it. able to find that good balance, just a little tweak. Mm -hmm. And in your case, it was kind of a big tweak. But it worked for you. Exactly. Yeah. It did. And um, I remember I got seven callbacks from the competition when it was over. And for those of you, again, if you don't know what this is about, um, when, you're, when you're competing, you're competing all week long. Showcases. Showcases. Learnings, workshops, seminars. And you've got agents and uh, directors, talent directors, like from all over the world. All over. Ford, Disney, GM. I mean, like, there's, a, there's a laundry list of them. And you can check those out at amtcworld.com uh, for more information on that. Go ahead and you know, do your homework and get ready 
to uh, to audition at the next uh, uh, scouting event happening somewhere around the country. But uh, I I remember that I met with a guy from WB, and he sat down with me. He said, "I'm I'm just gonna let you know right now that I only take the cream of the crop. I'm only meeting like nine people today. I don't take a hundred people or what. Like I just wanted to meet a few people." And when he first started talking to me, he goes, "Oh." You're not from New York. No. Nah. So the the one thing that stood out with him was that commercial. You got the accent right. Exactly. Yes. Um, and and one of the um, one of the reasons why why I didn't like go on to work with WB uh, in particular was because I just didn't have any experience on film. You know, I, I had no camera experience at that time. But he said, I want you to make sure you go to you know auditions and get some you know some uh, coaching. And things like that, you know, familiarize yourself with a set. Mm. You know, I could work with you. And, you know, contact me again. I thought, okay. So ever since then, ever since 2007, uh, I've started this TV show as a result. And, uh, you know, guys just opened some doors for me to be in some films as well and commercials. Um, so you never know where you're going to go. So are we ready to call the WB guy? Well, <laughs> um Yes, I would love to, to call okay. him again. I we'll absolutely have to look him up. Yeah, I have to yes. look him up. I, I've still got my book with, with okay. all the contacts. All right, great. Um, but you've seen you've seen quite a few talented people come through. Um, who who are just some of the big names that, that maybe our, our viewing audience well, has heard of? It's been over thirty years. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's been you know countless uh, Broadway stars. You know Simba, Nala on Lion King, Mufasa on Lion King. You know uh, you know one big name that um you know was back in our we call it our bc years you know with megan fox was a uh really graduate of ours you know ashley scott's really big we've had um uh, yeah i so see you've got the courageous poster up yeah. there you know six of the people cast in courageous uh were uh, cast at the shine event wow at, at uh at the conference which you attended back in 07 but um, i'm sure that niecy davies is very very proud niecy davies is very proud she's as yes a dear friend of ours but also a casting director yeah. also sits on the board of directors for amtc and and yeah you mentioned niecy because her son uh was one of the main roles on the movie courageous ben davies who's actually booked you know four or five or six um, i've noticed faith based films you know so people are called to different areas of, mm -hmm. of media you know uh, you know you you have a really cool king calling yourself you know but you know and, and some people are called to Christian and faith-based films. You know, we're seeing such a movement there, but there are others called to mainstream media too, because we need influence there as well. And and that's that's the cool thing about what we do at AMTC. You know, obviously we're not some kind of covert operation, mm -hmm. being actors, models, and talent for Christ. But the the people that we invite, the people that we uh, develop and, and we push forward to meet the movers and shakers in the industry, they have different callings but they understand the vision and, and, and that is is to, 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 to make movies to make film to make uh, fashion events you know to be a part of making good bolder in media you know to give people something that has true purpose mm -hmm. to relate to and, and that they can share with their families uh, that that have themes that that uh, just want to uh, continue in, in goodness, you know, in, instead of what else is out there. Mm. And I think that that's a, that's a key to um, family, and I, I want to get to that in just a moment. Um, we need to go ahead and cut to, uh, to a commercial break here. Actually, I want to check in with our weather girl, Wendy, Wendy, weather, Wendy Heather Weather. So uh, let's check in with our weather. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a moment with more of Adam Sheet. Hi y'all, this is Wendy Heather Weather with your local forecast and the weather has been crazy for the past few days. It was sunshine and blue skies and very happy cumulus clouds. However, as these clouds rose up into the air, they quickly formed many thunderstorms and it has been pouring down rain for days and my pumpkin garden is about to drown. Anyway, the air is sticky and sweet smelling. Like a Rice Krispie Treat? Yeah, it's like a Rice Krispie Treat. No, it's not like a Rice Krispie Treat. That's silly. Anyway, these thunderstorms have brought in some very unusual clouds which are under investigation even as we speak. Oh, thank you. This just in, y'all. It looks like it's going to be cloudy with a chance of marshmallows over the next... Marshmallows. That was stupid. 
There's no way it's going. Oh! Well, bless my sweet potato souffle. It is marshmallows. Looks like it's going to be hail and marshmallows the size of marbles in your area, folks. So be safe and get outside with your family and make some s'mores. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Get me some chocolate. All right, and uh, that's some crazy weather right there. Marshmallows. <laughs> and you know, you just, you never know. You never know. You never know. All right, well, we were talking about, uh, talking about families. And one of the things that I was really, really encouraged with when I went through AMTC was just how, how um, AMTC really encourages that family involvement. You know, um, even though I'm, you know, I'm a grown man, but, you know, still it was like, if you could bring your mom or, you know, your dad or your brother, sister, whoever, if you could bring and, them with you. Well, and, and not just your immediate family, but I think probably what you realize going out there is that, that kind of we all became. Oh, yes. A family, you know. Of, Absolutely. Of performers of support people. And and I think that's that's one of the greatest pitfalls in the entertainment industry is is people that that go out into this world of entertainment and they don't have that sense of community mm -hmm. they don't have that sense of belonging so they they feel isolated they feel like they're all alone yeah but they're not they've just for whatever reason you know haven't had that camaraderie and haven't had that fellowship and, and i think that is one of the uh, things that we have really focused a lot of attention towards mm -hmm. uh, at Actors, Models, and Talent for Christ is is understanding that 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 you're you're not you're you're not supposed to do it all on your own. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have a calling from God, it always involves other people. And so, so what people need to understand is is that you you've you've got to have accountability in your lives, whether that's your parents, you know, whether that's your brother, your sister. You know, hey, whether that's like me and you, yeah. I'm calling you every now and then. Hey, Sam, I'm in town. How are you doing? Can I stop by? You know, are, how you doing? You know, are you are you walking the way you need to walk? Are exactly. you in your lane? You know, and so that just has been a tremendous um, uh, as far as long term success for talents is to have the right community and have the right fellowship. And I think that for for some people that that have even tried to um, to look into AMTC and and they've seen some of like the the tuition fees, you know that they may go like oh, I don't know if I have the money you know to be able to be a part of that, but um, like I heard Carrie say recently that you know if God has called you to this, He's going to provide, He's going to make a way, and it's it's an investment. It's such a small investment when you look at it because, I mean this was this is 2007 when when I competed, and. And I, I placed here uh, overall male actor finalist. I, I was right up against Jordan Black, and Jordan Black uh, took it that year. He he was the, the overall male actor, and yet I'm still friends with Jordan Black, who's out in uh, L.A. I mean, he's all over the place. Talk about fave. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You he's... know, I mean, single mom. Uh, you know, Jordan's story. I don't know if you know this, but I mean, you know, he he never really met his dad. Uh, but but apparently his his dad uh, had HIV. No. And so Jordan little, could have been born with HIV. Sometime somehow he didn't, you know. And so raised by his single mom, he and his sister didn't absolutely had did not have the means, you know, to do anything uh, like AMTC. But they were called to, and they stepped out in faith. And they asked for help. They, you know, God, first of all, they asked for confirmation. God, yeah. is this really your plan for us? And, you know, God confirmed that. And then they asked for help. Hey, you know what? God has called us to this. Will you help? You know, God says, seek and you will find. Ask and you shall receive. But you, it always requires faith. Absolutely. Anytime yeah, you're does. called, it requires faith. I don't care what it is or what you're doing. If you want to achieve a high level of success, you're going to have to commit a high level of faith, and you're going to have to put in the work. The work, and, yes. And, and, they, and they did that, and then, and then God does the rest. And Jordan is definitely a great example. Jordan, if you're watching this show, um, uh, we're talking about you, buddy. <laughs> and, well, yeah, and, and he's actually in L.A. now. Yeah. And came for modeling, but actually he does voices won the like overall me. actor in yeah. the competition. 
and uh, now he's actually doing some songwriting, interestingly enough. Oh, uh, yeah. wow. Mm -hmm. um, and, and also Christian comedy chicks. I've been connected with Laura Mae Poré and Liz Jones, those guys. I mean, um, the, the network just continues to... Family. Yeah, yes. exactly. Mm -hmm. Continues to expand, and you get to, to connect with people all over the country who love Christ, who, who are passionate about their talent. So, um, you know, if, you, if you're an actor, model, singer, dancer, you know, what all do you have that, uh, you have all kind of different people Acting, from. singing, dancing, stand-up. That's right, stand-up comedy. Performers, yeah, you, I you can relate to that, too, yeah. yes. Yeah, I mean, you know, what's up with this show? <laughs> well, um, uh, you know, I yeah. like it. You thank know? you, thank you. I, I got this from uh, xcosplay.com. Uh, it's a wonderful shirt. It's, it, it's very smooth. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big Superman fan. I mean, I always, always have been ever since I was little. And I don't know. I, I, I like, I like the things that Superman was able to do. You know, like, like take those, those, uh, those big leaps. You know, and and I tried to do that too off of my house, and I nearly broke my leg. So I realized that I didn't have what it took to be a Superman, uh, no matter how many red capes I wore. But uh, anyways, so yeah, I like. So now you sport the T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. So now I sport the T-shirt and I just pretend to be Superman. All right. So uh, moving right along. So you, <laughs> um, I know that uh, we've had a lot of fun here with Adam Shee. I hope that you'll look out, uh, look out for amtcworld.com online, and really pray about it. If you are a talented person out there and you want to use your gifts for the Lord, be sure to connect with AMTC. Uh, anything you'd like to leave us with here regarding talents and um, you know. Um, if you're called to the industry, you, you know that you know that you know. And for AMTC, we have been called. In fact, the vision that God has given us at AMTC is we want to see the great commission of Jesus Christ fulfilled in film, fashion, music, and theater. Now, that is not an easy task. But it's what we're called to do because Jesus said to go out into all the world and preach the good news. And you know, the way I see it, Sam is there's nothing in our world that is more far-reaching than the camera, than media, than entertainment, than the internet. And you know, honestly, I don't believe that God sowed the entertainment industry as it is today, but I believe he's gonna reap from it. And I believe his people are set up for a time such as this to reap from it. So if you know that you're called, just be strong and of good courage. Seek and pursue it, and, and God will confirm his direction, and he'll confirm his will. And uh, if that happens to be AMTC, check out our website, amtcworld.com. We'd love to see you. We have auditions all over the country. And what kind of scripture would you like to leave everyone with? If you do attend one of our auditions, we always start uh, with the reciting of Isaiah 61 through 3. So check that out online. It starts with rise, shine, for your light has come. Could you say that in Chinese? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, yeah. Sam. We'll have to call my mom, <laughs> Sam, for that one. Yes. All right. Well, uh, thank you, Adam, for being on uh, Light Talk. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having and, me, Sam. Uh, be sure to check out AMTC, and thank you again for watching Light Talk. Take care, and God bless.